Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. How are you doing today? I have a topic that I've been waiting to ask, and we're going to do it today. Uh, we're going to first welcome Matt, the Lumberjack Landlord, to the show. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing awesome, Mike. So happy to be here. Yeah, this one's this this conversation might get interesting. So, folks, if you don't know Matt or my background, let me set it up for you, and then we'll get into the question. So, I happen to have gone through college, got a four-year degree, economics, then went on to get a master's degree in business and administration, often called an MBA. Matt, on the other hand, chose not to even graduate high school or even attend a day in 10th grade. So he's a ninth grade dropout. So we are kind of like on the opposite end. And yeah. oh, by the way, we both have kids, you right? Do. So I'm going to ask Matt a question and we're going to debate it. Is college worth it? Uh, largely no. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I saw. Sorry. I saw well, that's fine. I mean, I, what would you expect? <laughs> no, I'm apologizing to your audience. <laughs> Yeah. I get the hate mail ready. Hey, listen, at the end of the day, I have seen, so we rent to college kids. Yes. Because university around us is really expensive and their housing is really expensive. And so I saw the business opportunity to help them out and give them great housing for much less money. Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. And so for them, I can tell you that probably, because we've had a lot of kids that after they finished school, they stayed local 80 to 90% of them don't even use the degree that they just paid 125,000 bucks for or 150,000 bucks for. So, you know, for me and for my kids, I, my kids, if they want to go to college, that's going to be something that that's going to be their decision. Mm -hmm. um, they must have a plan. Um, and the other piece to it too, is, is that they have to be looking at something that has the opportunity to be used in a non- uh, to be used outside of their core competency, mm -hmm. like your degrees, you can use them for a lot of other things. You don't have to be a CPA, right? Correct. You know, you don't have to be a CEO, but they're very valuable if you want to be an entrepreneur and run a business. And those are all important things. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I would, so largely speaking, I'd say for 85% of the people that are getting college degrees, I think they're largely a waste of time. Yeah. I saw some stats I talked about on the daily financial news today. In-state school, let me, do I have my notes? I think it was 26 grand for in-state a year. So that's a hundred grand. Mm -hmm. And a private uh, university out of state's 50 grand, roughly. Mm -hmm. That's $200,000. Not only mm -hmm. is it the cost folks, but you are also committing four and today, five years. That's right. You're taking five years of your life mm -hmm. where you are largely not moving forward, right? You're- mm -hmm. You're just, you're, uh, yeah. So I have to agree, actually, as somebody who, who went on to get a, a four-year degree paid for myself and an MBA paid for myself, yep. um, I largely agree with you. That said, I do think something I don't really talk about, which I think I will talk about more is junior college. Yes. I, went, I went to junior college. Mm -hmm. I didn't know, I, again, so I went to a private high school in Mountain View, California where like 98% of the students went off to a, a, people had money there. They went, I, I got in on a, yeah, it's just, I got in for some reason. I did not belong there. It was not a good time. Um, but 98% of their people went on to college. I did not even take the SATs, right? So mm -hmm. when I graduated, you had to take the SATs to qualify for college. I didn't take them. I'd like, nobody in my, at that time, nobody had gone to college in my entire, like, aunts, uncles, grandparents, none of them, right? So it wasn't something we talked about. Um, so I didn't get the SATs. So I'm like, why bother? I'm not going to college. I, you know, I got to get a job. And um, then I went to De Anza, which was a, a, a local community college. And I took some of the most valuable courses I'd ever taken because high school doesn't teach you money, doesn't teach you investing. Uh, and a, at the time for me, I was an introvert, right? If you can believe that. Uh, so there was a speech and debate class that changed my life. That speech yeah. and debate class made me millions of dollars. That yeah. one class, yep. one class. So I, th I think junior colleges are undervalued. Yeah. Uh, I think you really can find yourself. I rem so I, my junior college is supposed to be two years. I went for three because I didn't know what I wanted to do. I tried a little bit of everything. I tried sociology and philosophy and histories and uh, accounting and marketing and the speech and debate. I just was bouncing around like, anybody. But again, to the first conversation, I was doing that from 730 to right. 1030 because I had a job at noon. So yeah, I think junior college is greatly underappreciated because I think you could find yourself. You can, you might find that fire 
right? That yes. thing. Because mm-hmm. you're not going to do it in high school. Mm-mm. High school mm-hmm. teaches you to be an employee. Yes. Right? It doesn't introduce to you money, investing, anything of that. So I greatly, I love my, I actually have an AA. I actually stayed and got those last two cl- classes to get an AA because I thought I'd be done. Then I transferred to Santa Clara, got that four-year degree, then went back and got a master's. But the junior college degree was by far the most impactful on my life. Yeah, my wife went to, she, she's a nurse. So our options were $27,000 a year for state at the time, um, $38,000, thirty uh, $44,000 a year for private um, because she wanted to go back to school. Mm-hmm. Or we went the amazing route of community college and she was able to get her two-year RN in two years and it cost me uh, 12,000 bucks. Yeah. And her, really... and her first year out of school, she made 45 grand. Yes. Yeah. That, that is a proper use of capital, time, and investment. That's on all, all, all three. Yeah, I think junior college is way under talked about. Because again, remember, a lot of high school students, and I say this as someone whose daughter's already graduated college. I know this from firsthand experience. A lot of kids, and I talked to lots of her girlfriends, they're like, I want to do this. And half of them, it's, it's, it's almost exactly half. Half of them finished with that degree. Like mm-hmm. a couple of them, wanted, one wanted to be a doctor. She's now a doctor, right? Because my, my daughter's older than yours. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other half, they changed by their sophomore year. Right. Right. So that's why I'm like, why are your parents spending 50 grand a year for you to change your mind? Yeah. I understand you don't want to be a doctor now because you don't like blood, for example, or you think law is, you know, sexy when you're a freshman, but you hate it when you're, you know, a sophomore, (laughs) but yeah, folks, I mean, junior college, because I think you do need, I think you need more skills after high school, whether it's, it could be a trade, right? I'm not talking down on trades. Trades are awesome. Mm -hmm. I just don't think high school prepares you to, to work in my opinion. No, I, it, it prepares you. <clears throat> it prepares you to work for somebody else yeah. and be a robot and, you know, get that minimum wage yes, job. Exactly. And, and, and that's what, that's what I was, was so contrary to me. I was like, I'm not going to use any of this crap. This is all checkbox stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'm not you know, that guy. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, I can read, but can I read well? And I thought you were trying to impress me because you keep on spelling. You could spell sat. <laughs> i'm like yeah i'm like i get it sit s-i-t yeah. s-e-a-t-e-d look at me and i'm like i got you big words <laughs> so yeah i mean it's but but that's the crazy thing is, is i look at it and they just say there are plumbers that make more than 100 bucks an hour oh, electricians man. that make 70 80 bucks an hour you know and the other thing too is know thyself you know, one of the guys that I'm helping out with this, with, with getting a house, he's 25 years old. That's awesome. He just finished getting his journeyman's license as an electrician in a union. That's awesome. He's got a job for life. And even in he's more importantly, he's got a skill for life. He's got a skill for life. Not even the job. It's the skill that he has for life. There will always be work that he understands and knows how to do that many others are scared to do because they yeah. don't understand electricity, right? Yeah, because death, one is, thing death I won't is touch. an option. Yeah, say, nope, yeah one thing I won't that. touch. They're just like, yeah, it's probably something electrical. Yeah, one second. Hey, can yeah. you come over? Need some help. Don't want yeah. to die. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So this is a skill. And that's the mistake that most people make is if you're going to college, what skills are you going to come out of college with? And more importantly, I think too many people go there waiting for it to like shape their view of the world. Mm. I got news for you. You want to view <laughs> the world, get in the world, Yeah. get in the world, start doing, you want to know what, you know, a certain economy is go there, move there, stay there, be there for six months, try Take and some risks. It. Yeah. Yeah. Do something. That's what you can do at that age, you know? And yeah. so for me, yeah, I just, I am just the existing education system in the States, not only college, but largely speaking kind of, K through 12 kind of blows. Yeah. It kind of blows. The and thing, it's the, not the teacher's fault. It's, yeah. it, I mean, it largely speaking, it's we're not teaching the right things to make people successful at life. No, high school, high school or the whole K through 12 is basically trying to teach you how to be an, a, a human being that can exist in the world, right? Reading, writing, yeah. math, you know, spelling, all that crap. Uh, and then they're trying to create workers, they're trying to create employees. That's, right. what, that's what the whole school says. It hasn't evolved for the internet age by any stretch. 
right? They, well, I think they, also, I think also it's about aptitude, you know? Yeah. My, my wife is amazing, amazing at advanced math. Wow. Useless to me. That's <laughs> completely useless. <laughs> Talk and to I the give hands. Her, I give <laughs> her a spreadsheet. Forget it. Oh, wow. Forget it. She's not, she, it, spreadsheets are not her thing. Yeah, rows and, and colors so, not her thing, huh? That's yeah, funny. and so she can literally talk to me through an algorithm and I'm just like, awesome, yeah. super cool. You lost great. me an X, honey. Yeah. I don't know what, yeah. what, what yeah. was X again? And, and even more so, I don't care. I care because you're saying it, but I don't yeah. care about what the topic is. Yeah, but no. let's <laughs> talk about my spreadsheet because this shows P&L this month. Yeah. And here's the P. Yeah, and P is that's, awesome. That's what we like. We like we like that one. That's right. Like, yeah, the so other. So I thing, think it's aptitude. I think people yeah. really need to be doing what they're really good at and explore that and explore those gifts that they have. They they have those gifts. They have those innate abilities that they yeah. need to really cultivate. And that's why, again, I all of that. I think that's what junior. That's at least for me, junior college I was agree. right. I got out of high school. I checked the box. It was all it was. I did not enjoy it. it was, I was a fish out of water in the school that I was at, um, and. Yeah, dude, I didn't, I didn't even bother taking the SATs. I was like, I'm not going to college, right? There you are with spelling again. Yeah, I know. That's right, dude. Three <laughs> letters. That's, that's kind of where I top out. After, after four <laughs> letters, I'm done. Yeah. But the other thing I want to talk about here is if you choose to go to college, it's on you. Yeah. If you choose to take debt, it's on you. Mm-hmm. Why are we suddenly saying, oh, <laughs> that debt you chose to t- take and you as an adult signed for, we're going to just magically wave it goodbye? It's this, it's this, that's the scariest thing for me is that you're making your biggest financial decision at 18 years old. Yeah. No kidding. Huh? Right. That's the way I looked at it. I was just like, talk about the rat race right in your face. Oh, there you go. And the whole crazy thing is, is all these people get wrapped around the axle, you know, with, well, my daughter's going here and my (sighs) son's going here. And I'm just like, I I said, my, my son's three. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but a lot of my friends have, have their kids, they had kids early like you and their kids are in college or going to college. And so for me, it's just like, I think that that's just a big Joneses thing. And I think that a lot, a lot, people would be far more happy if they just recognize what makes them happy and what they want for their life and for their family. And honestly, there's so many people, especially now with the age of the internet, people that can do the dumbest things that are of really no actual societal value. And all of a sudden they're worth millions of dollars, yeah. you know, because of social media. So for me, it's just one of those things where I think that you stick with your passion, but I think that find you find it. Yeah. I think you're so right. You got to find that. You got to find that passion, find, find. Yeah. And what's that usable, whatever it is that you can be passionate about that you can turn into something. Yeah. You know, were yeah. you super passionate about software, Mike? No, I was super passionate about money. Right. Dude, you, <laughs> you want to know my career history? I, I, I'm an accountant with a four-year degree. Mm-hmm. Uh, about six months into that, I walk into the CFO's office because he's the most powerful person I know in my world. And I go, how sure. do I get your job? I did that as a 22-year-old. <laughs> Freaking nice. arrogant fuck I was. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the bad language, but I didn't know what else to call myself. I was so, so over the top. He goes, and I still remember it. He goes, first, you need, you need to mind your place. Uh, and second, get a degree, get a master's degree. I'm like, okay, thanks. I was like, I look back on that now going, how cocky was I? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. and that's, and, and honestly, Mike, but, but you knew at that point, I mean, he was gracious, right? He, mean, oh, he, told yeah, you he this was is, clearly annoyed, you know, <laughs> annoyed, but gracious, yeah, he was. you know, he, you didn't lose your job and nope. he told you, he gave you the path, Yeah. but that's what I think a lot of people miss out is that there's so much opportunity to learn from so many different areas and really try to understand things and people that understand how things work and markets and things. They are the ones that anticipate what the next thing is that's going to happen and they can kind of see it coming. Yeah. You know, I've got, I mean, it's just it, the opportunity is there. And if you, if it's something you can get good at, I mean, for you, if you were in love with software, you'd still be doing software today. Oh, absolutely. No, there's but no question. You didn't get it. Dude, totally get it. I, this is amazing to talk about now that I'm out of the field, right? So I never took a computer science class ever, mm-hmm. never wrote a line of code, um, wouldn't understand what I was looking at if it was in front of me. Mm-hmm. Right. And oh, by the way, I was at one time I was a consultant making 200 bucks an hour as a consultant. <laughs> That's what my, I, I shouldn't say me. I wasn't, I was billed out. Billed out, 200. Yeah, sure. Yeah, billed sure, out sure. at 200. And then uh, I slowly became a pre-sales engineer who became the best at his company and uh, made a lot of money. And I, I 
didn't know what I was doing. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't, I, you, I couldn't spell software, right? I was like, what the hell this thing is? But boy, I could tell stories. I, I could, I could show you how your world would be different. Mm-hmm. Right. That back to that speech and debate class. Hello. Yeah. That cost a, made a line. Millions of dollars. A, a line. And if it was a show to me. Problem is, it was course. a show. Every yeah. demo or presentation. It was a show. Other people that were pre-sales engineers had to be the smartest person. I yes. didn't care about being this. I wanted the most freaking money. Yep. That's all I, that's all I was, I was trying to take care of my family because I was so scared of not having money. And then why did I become a sales guy? They made more. They make the money. most. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it doesn't take long to you know, help somebody close a million dollar deal. I make 10 grand. He makes 50 grand to go. Why don't I get the 50 grand before you step up to do that? Right. So how, how long did it take before? So there's always that, um, you know, like top one, two, three sales guys make more than their boss. Oh, absolutely. And like usually the top guy sometimes can make more than the VP. Oh, dude, I, and, I've worked at places where the top sales guys made more than CEO. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, because they usually get that holy cow deal, right? Yeah, exactly. We're just like, Whoops. Oh. <laughs> we forgot that accelerators work like that. <laughs> <laughs> so the question is, so for me, I got asked a lot about taking management positions and director positions, but I was just like, is that the comp? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. mean I got to carry two deadbeats and you know two <laughs> rock stars and I make nothing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The thing, the thing, when I made the change, it was because I wanted to uh, take something from zero to something. So yes. I actually happened to, I, I was very good in, in uh, pretty well known in the Valley for taking zero products from zero to a hundred million. Did that three different times. That's awesome. And um, let's just say my comp plan was heavily skewed in my favor. <laughs> because again, well, when you're going from zero, they're like, sure, comp. we yeah. can give you that. We've sure. done nothing so far. Yeah. yeah. They they're were, okay. yeah. What? I, I had the same VP a couple of times and he literally was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Save me the song and dance. I know the number's too high. I know that you don't have all the resources that you need to get there. Yes, exactly. That's still going to be your number. Yes. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, do you, do you want to talk is, for an hour yeah. or do you just want to get done? Who is giving this guy my playbook? This is yeah, horrible. Exactly. <laughs> it's like I've heard it all before. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, this is this is this is good. So, uh, how can people follow you? Be part of your world. Lumberjacklandlord.com, uh, lumberjacklandlord on YouTube. Um, in the one rental at a time course, um, and we are now doing those uh, every couple times a month with yeah. Dion talk and yeah, the three people love that. They do. And I get it. I totally get it. I like Dion, even when he's telling me I'm wrong. Yes, exactly. like, It's cool. <laughs> he does it so nicely. He does. It's like, well, Matt's wrong. And here's yeah. why. Well, let okay, me just tell Dion, you tell again. Me. Yeah. <laughs> love it. I love it. I love it. All right, buddy. Well, enjoy your week. Okay. Thanks, Mike. You too.